guys, it's Mari, and I'm here today with a 12 by 12 process, and I'm using quite a few of the products from my January hip kit. So I'm just starting off with a piece of 12 by 12 white cardstock that I've primed with some gesso, and I'm just going to take a variety of pink Faber-Castell gelatos, and I'm just going to put a little bit of color down for my base. Um, because I'm really not using any patterned paper here to speak of in this layout. So I just put a little uh, layer of that gelato down and now I'm just taking and spraying it with some water and I'm just going to work that over the paper, just blend it in using that uh, craft brush. So yeah, I'm just uh, putting that down uh, lightly in the background so that I have a nice base for the rest of my layout. So I'm just gonna take this Tim Holtz stencil and I'm going to use some of my Tutti Fruity Dazzlers from Shimmers and I'm just going to create that flower stencil in the background because the photograph that I'm going to be using here or the photographs <clears throat> are of my daughter and she's in a field that has all kinds of canola flowers in it so I just thought that that flower stencil was perfect for the photograph. So I'm just going to put that stencil down in a bunch of places horizontally across the layout um, not only where the gelato is but also on either side of that gelato layer as well just to um, take that that pattern all the way across horizontally across the kind of the center of the the layout so i actually do the rest of the stenciling off camera but it's just a repeat of what you saw me do there and i just extend it out towards the edges so now you can see that i've got the rest of that uh, texture paste on there and now what I've also done is I've just uh, mounted my white cardstock onto some black and white striped cardstock. And I think that's the Jen Hadfield collection. And I think it's called Ribbon Stripe. And I love that. I think it's from a DIY collection. And I just had a piece of fuzz on there that I... <laughs> that I took off with my tweezers. So I just put some black acrylic paint on a little piece of wax paper. I just mixed some water in with it so that it was uh, ready enough to splatter. And I'm just getting some small and large black splatters going diagonally from one corner to the other here. I just wanted those to go in the same direction as the stripes in the background, just so that the eye is sort of like taken in that same direction diagonally across and I'm just taking some Heidi Swap Color Shine now and splattering that down and I'll just let that dry for a little bit and now I'm ready to start working on the photo layers. So I've got this picture of Bailey that's quite tall and narrow and I have it mounted or I'm going to mount it on a piece of patterned paper. I think that's um, from the Hello Love Create Paper Collection maybe, um, the 6x6 pad. And I just took and put some tissue paper as one of the layers and also some um, striped vellum, some black and white striped vellum. Now I also printed two companion pictures uh, to this as well. They're smaller pictures that are the same size, but they're smaller than the larger picture that I just am going to offset uh, beside that larger photo. And that's just a little Hello Love crepe paper tag and a little ephemera bit from the Hello Love collection and also a Brad from My Mind's Eye, My Story. So you know what? I'm almost done here. I'm just going to put some thickers down and that Heidi Swap silliness and my title is going to be 321 Silliness because this is a kind of a picture of Bailey being silly with that dandelion. And that's going to be it for the layout today. It's all done. I've got a few confetti bits at the top there and that's it. Thanks so much for joining me today. Have an amazing day and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.